Hi, I'm Bob, and welcome to Between the Sheets, where we look at Microsoft Excel and related technologies. You might sometimes have a data sheet that isn't arranged the way you want. Maybe you want to push rows or columns around or stack data that's spread out. In a previous episode, I showed you Excel's new transform function, and now I want to show you three other new functions that kick it up a notch. tcall, vstack, and wrap rows. Just be aware that as of this recording in early November 2022, these functions are still in beta, so you might not have access to them yet. But if you have the 365 edition of Excel, you'll have them soon, and they will be available in both Windows and Mac. So let's take a look, see how it works. Let's start by looking at the to call function. So you see here, I have three columns of coffee varieties, and what I want is to combine them so they're just going down one column. Now, there's not a lot here, so I could simply grab these three, shove them down there, grab those three, shove them down there. But potentially, this could be hundreds or thousands of rows, and by simply grabbing them and moving, copying and pasting, and whatnot, that's not dynamic. With a function, it's dynamic. Before we do it, let's take a look at the syntax. So the syntax is pretty straightforward, equals to call and feed it an array. Now there is sort of a similar function that is to row, also you feed it an array. The only difference, of course, is one goes down a column, the other goes across the row. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this column header, copy it, I'm going to paste it over there. And down below, I'm going to say equals to call. And then here's all of the stuff. That's the whole array. Close the parenthesis, press enter, and there we go. You'll notice this is a spill function. We have that nice shaded border around it. When I click the cell where I typed in the function, there it looks normal. If I click any of the other cells, you see it's grayed out. If I had used the to row function, I would simply have all these varieties listed across the row, so each one would be a column header. Let's go to the next function, vstack, and this is a little different. You notice we have three pairs. We've got one pair of varieties and the pound sold, a second pair of those, a third pair of those, and kind of like before, I want to take all of those and list them straight down these two columns. Again, let's take a look at the syntax. So with the vstack syntax, we say equals vstack, we feed it the first pair, comma, the second pair, comma, the third pair. You could have as many of these as you want. And this also has a corresponding function called hstack, where syntax is the same and the data would just be listed across the row horizontally. So I'm going to say equals vstack, there's the function, and I'm going to select the first pair, comma, second pair, comma, third pair, no comma because that's the end, close the parenthesis, press enter, and here we go. Also, this is a spill function. You see there's the border. Click the first one. You can see there's a function. Click any of the other cells, and we see that's grayed out. The hstack function would be the same thing, just kind of rotated 90 degrees going across. Let's take a look at our third function, wrap rows. This one is a little different. You see we have three varieties and then corresponding um, the number of pounds that we want sold. So I want this one to be under here, this one to be under here, I want this one to be under here, and I want three sets of these. Also, let's take a look at the syntax. So the wrap rows syntax, we say equals wrap rows, feed it the first array, and then where do we want it wrapped? The, and we're gonna put in a number. And that's going to be what is the last column? How many last columns do we want? Also, there's wrap calls. I'm going to show you this one. Syntax is the same, but it's going to look a little different. So I'm going to say equals wrap rows. You see there's both of the functions. I'll choose wrap rows. So I'm going to select this entire row. And where I want it wrapped is after the third column. So I want the third column to be the end. So I'm going to put in comma three, close the parenthesis, press enter, 
and there we go. So if I want the second one, I might go down here. And down there, I will say wrap rows, get the next row, comma. I want it ended at the third column, comma, and enter. So I have another set of these. Now, what if I want this sort of on a column? So let me go down here, and I'm going to say equals wrap calls, and kind of the same thing. But now when I grab those same six cells, comma, three, so that syntax is the same. But now you see how it's all listed sort of on the side, like it's rotated 90 degrees. And now if I want the second set, I could go down here, equals wrap calls, get that line, comma, wrapping a three, close a parenthesis, and we have another one. So I could have multiple sets. And if I want, of course, I could have these one on top of another, just like that. If you're wondering when or where you might use these, remember you might not need to use them by themselves. Like all functions, you might want to nest them inside other functions. So until next time, my name is Bob, and this has been Between the Sheets. <laughs>